Welcome back, our fellow patriots, to the Save Our Republic Daily episode. Yesterday, in case you haven't heard it, you need to go back and listen to it, we talked about the importance of natural law and what that means. Today, I'm going to talk about the absence of natural law. In other words, if we do not believe that there is law given to us by nature and nature is God, then what's the alternative? Well, it's very simple. If there isn't a law that comes from the supreme being, or from at least nature, then man makes the law. And you might say, well, that's great. Man should make the law. And we shouldn't be bound by what we might think through reason or rationality or science uh, is derived from and defined by natural law. We should be able to invent things ourselves. The problem with that is if you don't believe in anything, then you can believe in anything. And that is a road that has led to tyranny, dictatorships, genocide, mass slaughter, coups, oppression of, uh, and torture, and everything in the world that you can think of. If we run our society based on the moral beliefs of the people, unfixed by what we believe is a natural supreme law, then anything is possible. Nazi Germany... And I hate to jump to that immediately, but it is the most extreme example. They believed that uh, based on their uh, individuality and their philosophy and the way that they looked at the world, that what was most important was ethnicity. And that was uh, their own personal philosophy. And they believed in the fascist state, uh, not in a, a government that was founded on the founding first principles of the rule of law, inalienable rights, the limited government, the social compact, equality, and the right to alter or abolish an oppressive government. No, they believed in racial inequality through a corporate fascist state. And they could do that because they, as men and women, made up the rules. When the French Revolution came by and threw out the idea of natural law, and there's no question that's what they did, Then they turned on each other and devoured the revolutionaries that they were partners with just the day before. They unleashed the guillotine and slaughtered tens of thousands. The communists, again, unleashed from any moorings of natural law from a supreme being, massacred millions upon millions. And we don't teach this enough. They believed in in laws of history, so to speak, But they certainly didn't believe that what they were doing was um, in any way immoral or unanchored uh, from uh, a a supreme beings or creators or a natural law. Uh, They didn't care about that. They cared about liquidating their enemies, having power that they could oppose on everybody else and depriving them of their freedoms and liberties to achieve the aim of the state of the ideal of communism, which of course is a farce and has never happened and and never will because it's against human nature, which is based and rooted on natural law. So they couldn't achieve their ends by convincing people, so instead they slaughtered and liquidated them. There's a book called uh, The Black Death of the Black Book of Communism that shows a hundred million people had died for the ideal, the man-made ideal, of communism. And I could go on and on. If you don't believe that there's a nature and nature's law that stops you from doing certain things and protecting your liberties and freedoms through the founding first principles that we've enunciated in our Declaration of Independence, then you're free to do anything. Also, life probably has no meaning. Um, uh, it, you live as a hedonist, pleasure is the only thing that you want to do that's really important. Uh, Character, deep meaning, uh, helping your fellow man, none of that matters. Instead, it's whatever you want to have uh, in your life at the the given moment. And uh, since there is no natural law, the truth can change. And you can one day say that white is black, black is white, two plus two equals five. And if people don't accept that, if those people are in control of the government, they'll line you up against a wall and shoot you. Uh, 
And if you don't believe that's true, then you just don't know your history. It is unfortunately terrifyingly true. A lesson, especially in the 20th century, where we ran away from this idea of natural law and instead said, we as human beings know what's best for us. And we what we decide is true is true. And what we decide should be uh, the, the world should look like. We will recreate the world in our own image. And that led to Japanese imperialism, communism, Nazism. I can go on and on with the isms. They're all a road of tyranny and destruction. So don't be so quick to run away from that idea of a natural law. I would ask that if you uh, if you enjoy these episodes, please like them, please share them, please subscribe to the YouTube channel on Patriot Week. Uh, that we have a special uh, series on this, uh, or on the social media that you might be watching this through. Like and share through Facebook and LinkedIn and all that. Don't forget AmericaSurvivalGuide.com, uh, where some of these concepts are are really uh, dealt with in greater detail. PatriotWeek.org. And uh, the podcast, Patriot Lessons, American History and Civics, I I urge you to uh, look at all those different channels of getting engaged. Until next time, tomorrow, God bless you and God bless America.